As day began to break, a flight to the rim of the volcano revealed fresh plumes of ash spurting thousands of feet into the sky above southern Iceland. We found no comfort here for the travelers marooned across Europe. No end in sight yet to the eruptions that have paralyzed the aviation industry. This is the third plume, the gigantic plume of volcanic ash we've seen coming from the volcano since we've been approaching it over the last 10 minutes. It's been caught by a, a fresh wind which is blowing it straight out into a, a curtain of ash drifting down back towards Great Britain and, and towards Europe. A huge gash has been cut in the glacier that perches around the mountain, sending floods of icy water into the valleys below. Our light aircraft was buffeted by the strong winds blowing the columns of ash out to sea. The thoughts of our pilot, though, were with his fellow countrymen trapped in the twilight beneath the volcano's storm. It's night there, it's morning here. Iceland is perhaps the that country in the world that has the greatest contrast between fire and ice, between light and dark, between heaven and hell. Back on the ground, we drove as far as we dared into the storm of ash cascading from the volcano. The rivers here are dangerously swollen with the slurry of ice flooding off the glacier. Police and rescue teams are keeping travelers off the bridges it's hard to stand or even breathe this close to the volcano. The bitingly cold winds are so strong and they're carrying a corrosive mixture of grit and what feels like fine particles of glass. Only a few miles from here, a second winter has descended on the livestock and farming communities in the shadow of the volcano. For them, it's becoming a fight for survival. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Southern Iceland.